What is up, guys? Flooding Mine 14. Back here with some more EVL GX uh, Dual Academy. Yeah, so I did check in between episodes, and as you can see by the uh, red on which of the Black Force, it is indeed banned in this game. Um, yeah, if it's red, it's banned. Blue is uh, limited to one, and uh, green is uh, semi limited. So, yeah, and uh, Harpy's Feather Duster is, of course, banned too. Like, I, fi I figured Feather Duster would be, you know, with especially how uh, uh, heavy, uh, you know, the the opponents are on spells and traps. I knew for sure Duster would be banned, but uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, uh, question mark. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. So what's going to happen here? Let's find out. All right. <clears throat> well, you hear that sound? It's the sound of the waves. <gasps> there he is. Ah. So you are Flood. Yes. Yes, I am, Zane. Hello. Alexis told me what happened. Oh, did she now? Zane! <sighs> Looks like you want to drop out of school, Cyrus. Oh man, this, this is a serious moment right here. Big, big brother, I, I, fine, you should. What? Oh, well, all right, he does kind of do this in season one. He, he's kind of like, you know, a little, a little mean to Cyrus, but you know, you could say like, you know, in a roundabout way, you know, he's trying to help him basically try to get more confidence, you know, but you know, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Uh, go ahead and leave, little brother. But Flood, I've heard rumors about you. Now, I'm assuming this is like, we're substituting for Jaden here normally. Your duels are causing a storm. Oh, I'm curious how good you are, huh? You want to find out personally, Zane? Let's duel right here, right now. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. I'm excited. My brother wants to duel Flood? Oh, man, Cyrus looks scared. Look at his eyes. They're intense. <laughs> nice. Thanks. I'm glad you're up for it. Cyrus, we'll talk after this duel. Wait there. Yeah, and he does this in the anime, too, with, with Jaden. You know, he, he just kind of says, hey, Cyrus, watch this duel, you know, and, you know. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. It's all my fault this happened. Don't worry, Cy. I got this. You're good, Flood, but you're not as good as my brother. Oh, man. And how right Cyrus is. You guys might might be about to find out exactly what Cyrus is talking about. So, let's see if we can beat the best in the school. Zane. Wish us luck, guys. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. All right, intense music. Uh, what do we got here? Hmm, no monsters in our hand. But, uh, you know, that may be a good thing against this guy. You know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I like this music, though. Make no mistake, I am the best duelist. Indeed you are, Zane. I summon Cyber Jar in attack position. Pretty good monster, though. Pretty good monster. You know, assuming you use this flip effect. So, all right. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage there. I end my turn. All right, Zane. Let's do this, buddy. Let's do this. Let's see if I can draw a monster. That's a monster, but not exactly what the one we want right now. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna hold on to Magician of Faith right now. Yeah. Probably wait till I use a uh, giant true nade or something. Okay, go ahead, Zane, go ahead. He's got the early lead. Is he gonna play it? Is he gonna play a signature monster? I summon Cyber Dragon in attack position by tributing my Cyber Jar. Now go, Cyber Dragon. Evolution Burst. You're finished. Oh man, Zane. <laughs> nice. That's it for now. Smashing ground. Good, good. That's kind of what I was waiting on. Something like that. All right, take this, Zane. I activate smashing ground. This destroys your monster on the field with the highest defense. And right now, that's your Cyber Dragon. And I'll end my turn after setting a monster. What you got, Zane? I summon Cyber Stein. And it's a... Uh-oh. Now. Oh, he's not going to use the effect. Whew. 
Matter of fact, I might use Smashing Ground on this card, just so he doesn't use the effect. I thought he was going to go into Cyber End Dragon there, but I guess not. Thank goodness he didn't, but I'll take back Smashing Ground. Alright. And so far, no spells and traps from Zane. Kind of odd. But, you know, he didn't really play too much back on the anime either. Uh, except he did play MST, I guess, in his first one with Jaden. Nice. That's what I've been waiting on. A machine monster. Alright, Zane. Ready for this? I summon a machine of my own. Mechanical chaser in attack position. Wait, can I win this turn? Um, let me do some math here. 1,500. Hmm. I don't think we can win. Well, wait, I have Smashing Ground. Hmm. All right, Zane, I activate Rush Recklessly. This magic card gives my machine monster 700 more points. Next, I'll play up my face down, Rising Energy. So, I'll discard one, mo one card from my hand in order to boost my Mechanical Chaser even further by 1,500 points. Oh, it's at 40-50. Oh, too bad, Zane. Next, I activate the Smashing Ground, my Magician of Faith brought back from the graveyard. And now, Zane, it's time. I activate Limiter Removal. This doubles the attack of all machines on my side of the field, meaning my Mechanical Chaser is now at 8,100 points. Direct attack. <laughs> nice. Game over. And we did it, guys. We defeated Zane. That was a good duel. Oh, man. And listen to the music. Awesome. Awesome. I'm really surprised we beat Zane, though, on our first try. But to be fair, I think he could have made things a little harder on us had he used Cyber Science Effect. Anyway, a good duelist is ready for anything. Well said, Zane. Well said. Well said. And that means not just knowing how to use all of your cards, but knowing how to play them as well. Yeah, it, and you play your cards well, Jaden. Um, thank you. Ah, of course. Knowing how to use a card and knowing how to play it are two totally different things. Yeah, and that is like the main, uh, you know, lessons uh, Zane wanted to teach Cyrus when he dueled against Jaden in the, in the anime. So, I knew which card to use, but I wasn't paying attention to my opponent, so I didn't know how to play it. It really has nothing to do with Power Bond, exactly, Cy. That's what Zane was trying to tell me all those years ago. I get it now. Yeah. Ah, so Cyrus, you wanted to talk to me about something? No, not anymore, big bro. But I think you should go back to your dorm. Everyone's probably worried about you. Good night, Zane. Yeah. You have good friends, Cyrus. See ya, Zane. Zane, I'm not giving up anymore. That's the spirit, Cyrus. I will master using Power Bond. Watch out, Zane. I'm coming for you. Okay. And now we can send mail to Zane Truesdale. So with that, the uh, event to unlock Zane is done. Sweet. Tomorrow is Sunday. All right. Well, with that being done, I will gladly save the game right here. Okay. And yeah, if we go to mail, you can now see, yeah, the last character we have yet to duel. We can now send a mail, Zane. So that's awesome. So I'll probably set up some, um, you know, duels with him during the week. You know, duels by mail like I do with everybody else. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad we finally got Zane. Sweet. And yeah, uh, someone in the comments had let me know, you know, uh, as far as when to duel Cyrus for that. So you have to duel him like early Saturday morning. And like I said, it won't always trigger. I think the person in the comments said that there's like a one in three chance of getting it to go. So I'm glad we got it to go through. And with that, let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Where should I go today? Okay. So let's just see who all's around. Um, I remember on the weekends, I was dueling uh, Chaz a lot. Um, yeah. So let's see if Chaz is around. Uh, if not, I'll probably just head here to the to the shop. Um, well, no, Sadie's not there, so I don't know. Uh, but I, I'm glad we got the thing with Zane done. Let's see. Okay. Looks like Chaz isn't around right now. I mean, we could duel Zane normally, 
uh, without the events. Uh, sure, let's duel Zane. Ha, duel you? Fine. Show me your stuff, Flood. Yes. Flood, show me if you're really a true duelist. Alright, Zane, let's do it, buddy. Uh, I'll go with Tails. And we missed. Well, hopefully he'll go first. Okay, no. Yeah, like, oddly enough, you know, obviously Zane is packing Cyber Dragon. So, uh, and he can special summon it if you've got a monster on the field. So most of the time, um, you're gonna wanna let Zane go first, believe it or not. Because just because, you know, his deck has the advantage if, uh, yeah, if you go first and play a monster, which most of the time you will. Um, now we did get a heavy storm, so I don't think I'm gonna set any other, you know what, I will set Rush Recklessly, now that I think about it. <laughs> Make no mistake, I am the best duelist, I draw. What do you got, Zane? Oh, Cyberstein. Uh-oh, he's using the effect this time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now I summon Cyber and Dragon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my Cyber and Dragon attacks. Destroy that UFO turtle. Eternal Evolution Burst. Oh my goodness. And we took a massive hit right there. Uh, luckily, I can use UFO Turtle's effects and we will special summon another UFO turtle to defend us from uh, Cyberstein. <whistles> Impressive, Zane. Impressive. Ha, I end my turn. Man, he just brought out Cyber, Cyber and Dragon right away. Thank goodness he didn't... Oh. <laughs> well, that's some... Uh, how are the cards there for us? Okay, yeah, because I don't have limited removal either. Yeah, so I'm not really sure how else I would have gotten rid of this card, but, uh... All right, Zane, I've got a card for you. Huh, it looks like your machines are weak against electricity, so I'll activate Lightning Vortex. By discarding a card, well then, I can destroy all your face-up monsters. So it looks like your Cyber and Dragon's in the graveyard, Zane. Next I summon Gemini Elf. Now, go, UFO Turtle. Go, Spinning Turtle. Rapid Spin Attack. All right. We did it, guys. We did it. Ah, oh man, his face. And now, Gemini Elf, direct attack. But I'm gonna give my Gemini Elf a little boost with Rush Recklessly. This will boost it by 700 points. Go! <laughs> Alright, guys, and with that, I think we got, we're gonna get the times five bonus. Uh, nice, 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 nice. And we get 900 DP. Yeah, he did most of the damage to himself there with Cyberstein, but that was pretty lucky, honestly, top decking uh, Lightning Vortex. I know you tried your best, Flood, so I did my best in return. I'm keeping an eye on you. Ah, all right, Zane, all right. See you later, bro, see you later. Man, that was awesome. Okay, let's see if uh, the Chaz is around. Uh, there's Zane again. And of course, we haven't dueled him at all, so, but, um, yeah, I remember uh, Cyrus saying something about how Crowler would get mad if we keep beating uh, the Obelisk Blues. So let's try to duel uh, Chaz here. Ah, what, me? Duel a chump like you? I'm Chaz. I'm the Chaz. Come on, Flood. What are you scared of? Getting humiliated? Nah, I'm not scared, Chaz. Let's do it. Aw, oh, he's probably going to go first. Oh, no, we go first. Okay. All right, let's see if we can beat Chaz. Duel! Mm, limiter removal. Do I have any machines? At least I'm drawing limiter removal quite a lot. That's good. Well, we have Drillroid. That's good. Um, I think I'll start with Slate Warrior. Yeah, we opened this a few episodes ago with uh, Power Destructions. So I did decide to put it in my deck since it's just a, you know, pretty solid card. Um, that's it. Go ahead, Chaz. Hope you're ready for your worst nightmare. I draw. All right. My spell card. Oh, dude, I had a good hand. So we're gonna lose MST too. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks, man. All right. Look at all those face downs, man. I almost wish I had set giant true name, but go, Robin Zombie. Okay. Ha! You're wasting your cards. Go, another Robin Zombie. Okay, Chaz. Okay. Um, well, we did get a uh, giant Trunade. 
two Mobius. That's good. Um. Well, let's see if we can bait Magic Jammer. Go, upstart Goblin. Okay, he doesn't have Magic Jammer. Premature Burial. What all did I discard? Um, Tribe Infecting Virus. Drillroid. Okay, okay. Um, I think what I'll do first... Man, but I don't have Luminar removal anymore. Yeah, that sucks. That card destruction was really clutch. All right. I'm going to tribute summon my Slate Warrior for Mobius the Frost Monarch, Chaz. And so, I'll target your Robin Zombie and your other face down card. Go, Frost Glacier Freeze. Oh, good. We got rid of Mirror Force. Good, 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 good. Good job, Mobius. Let's see what all he discarded. I'm Mephist the Infernal General. He did play this in the anime, Magic Cylinder. Okay, okay. He had some good stuff. He had some good stuff. Um, but with that being done... Wait, I have Giant Trune, too. Ooh. 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 All right, Chaz. I'm not done. I'm going to play a couple more cards. We got the combo, guys. So, I'll play Premature Burial. By paying 800, I'll revive Slate Warrior in attack mode. All right. And I'm still not done, Chaz. Go. Giant True Nade. This will return all spells and traps to our hands, meaning I can play Premature Burial once again. So it's time to revive. I think I'll bring back Drillroid, because he does have a defense monster. And Drillroid will take it out no matter what. So there we go. All right, Chaz. Get ready. Now my Drillroid's going to use its special attack. Go, Super Drill Peck. Whenever you have a monster in defense, well then, my Drillroid automatically destroys it. And now, time to start, start you with a clean slate, because Slate Warrior's attacking. And now, Frost Glacier Freeze. We're winning a duel, we're winning a duel. Okay, I'll set Rising Energy, and that'll be it. What you got, Chaz? All right. Another face down. I'm guessing that's Robin Zombie. Oh, he did set a new face down, but we don't really have to be scared to attack because, uh, yeah, we already got rid of Mirror Force. Yeah, Robin Zombie. Okay, so let's just, uh, okay. I think what we'll do here is just attack because, uh, yeah, we're already rid of Mirror Force, and that's the number one thing I'm worried about. So go. Go, Mobius! Frost Glacier Freeze! Time to ice over his life points. Very good. <sighs> yeah, you haven't finished me off yet. Oh, really, Chaz? Now, time to start you with a clean slate. As in zero life points. Go, Slate Warrior! Scrape his life points off the pavement. Yeah, and now to do as much damage as possible, I activate Rising Energy. So, by discarding a card from my hand, well then, one monster I pick gets a 1500 point boost, and I choose Drillroid. Go! Super Drill Attack! Nice. This whip can't win! I just did, Chaz. Game over! Nice, and we did get the times two in this one. Very good, 668. Not bad, not bad. Ah, me, I lost, me, lose. I'll get you next time. You better believe it. All right. Okay, so I think I still have time to duel in this episode. Um, but for next episode, uh, just a heads up, guys. I think I'm going to do some more time duels because uh, we haven't done all those yet. Um, I think I'll do... I think we're at about 60, so I'm going to do like 20 more. Uh, let's see if Chaz is around again. Let's see. Oh, wow. Looks like no one's around right now. Um... Wow, yeah. Hardly anyone. Um, one thing I am gonna do, this may be, uh, I may have to wait till, like, there's a question mark here, but you remember, uh, Jasmine and Mindy saying, like, uh, someone's been snooping around the girls' dorm? Let's see if I can go here, actually. Oh, I can. This is the girls' dorm for Obelisk Lulu. Like, like, yeah, I'm gonna start checking here uh, on the weekends when we can and just see if anything happens. Oh, okay, okay. Nothing happened there, so... Okay. Um, I'm so tired. Okay, I think I have to do the time duels now. So, let's see where we're at on time. Okay. Um, let's use the PDA and save. 
And, um, yeah, how many time duels are we at? Do time duels. Let me just check here. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I thought. We are at 60. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's start a few to end this episode. And then, um, yeah, I think we're just gonna go for 20. Um, yeah, and then we will continue in the next episode. So let's start at number 61. Alright, yeah, it's been a while since we've done these. Um, I like the music though. Let me grab a drink here. Very good. And I think I can turn up the music a little bit for these. The music in these is kind of chill, kind of low-key, so yeah, let's crank it up a little bit. Alright, so we'll start with the time duels here, and we'll continue in the next episode. What's here? Gear Golem. Okay. So his life points are at 4,500. We have to win this turn. The creator, hmm, the tricky, huh? Okay, so how does your effect work? Uh, no, 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 not yours, the regular creator. Sin, select one monster from your graveyard. Sin one card from your hand to the graveyard to special summon the selected monster. Can only use this effect once per turn. Okay. Um, we got the tricky. I'm guessing for maximum damage, we need to revive a dark triceratops. So, interesting. So, I think we'll start with the creator and card. I'm pretty sure we have to use this effect. Uh, maybe not, maybe not, but we'll summon the creator. Okay, then with the tricky... Well, wait, I've already normal summoned. Let me think here. Let me think. Let's use Monster Reincarnation. Hmm. Now I have to think about this. Wait, I can send any card, right? It doesn't have to be a monster. Yes, I can send any card. Okay. So yeah, let's special summon the Tricky by discarding Dark Triceratops. Uh-huh. Now it's in the graveyard. Now let's use the creator's effects. I'm, a, I'm just assuming this will be enough damage. Uh, so we select Dark Triceratops. Uh-huh. And then we discard Reincarnation. Okay, revive. And this does have a piercing effect. I am thinking of the right card, right? Yeah, it does, it does. Okay, so I'm assuming this will be game. Uh, so we do 200. Okay. And then create our attacks. Yep, yeah, I think this is gonna be just enough. Good, good, looks like I did this one right. Okay, and Tricky, get him. All right, sweet. Very good, very good. That one wasn't too hard. Uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, blue eyes, white dragon, blue eyes, white dragon. Okay, magic, ooh. Okay, okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure we gotta check the fusion deck on this one. Okay, thousand eyes restrict. Okay, but he's at 3,300. Now the thing with Thousand Eyes Restrict is other monsters can't attack, right? Uh, let me just check this. Yeah, other monsters can't attack. Or change their battle positions. So, hmm. Let me think, this one's a little more... I'm just gonna try this straightforward. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I just thought about something. Ah, I think I've got it, guys. I think I've got it. Okay, so we activate Magical Sciences. Summon Thousand Eyes Restricts. Uh-huh. Activate the effect to steal a blue eyes. Then, you know, I thought about tributing Magical Sciences at first, but I think that's the trick. The key here is other monsters can't attack. So you actually want to offer a Thousand Eyes Restrict as the tribute. Uh, that way, Magical Scientists can attack. Yeah. 
because if you try to, uh, I thought about crashing at first with uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict, but um, yeah, ultimately that won't leave you with enough damage. So yeah, I think that's the key that, to that one, is that, um, yeah, you definitely want to leave, uh, yeah, you definitely want to tribute uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict, that way you can get as much damage as possible there. Very tricky, very tricky. Okay, let's see if we can do this one. Okay, what's here? Uh, what is this? Can I check? Oh, it's Desk Koala. Okay. Oh, and we... Oh, so we have to play every card in our hand because of this thing's flip effect. Okay. Oh, Jama Trio. Meteor Rain. Oh, my God. Le wow. Monk Fighter. Legendary Black Belt. Okay. What do these cards do? Um equal to the defense of the destroyed monster. Huh. And wait, how do I summon you? This card can attack twice. Okay. By tributing Monk Fighter. Okay. So... What? His life points are at 6,400? Holy crap. Um... Okay. This card can attack twice. Hmm. Man, how do I get him down from that? I don't know. Well, obviously, you do have to play Monk Fighter here. And, I mean, I know you can attack twice, but... Okay. I'm gonna just try this straight up. I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough damage or not, but, uh... We're just gonna... Put Legendary... Play all the cards in our hand. Play, uh, yeah, Legendary Black Belt on him. Um, then let's activate Meteor Rain. Okay. And I'm going to try this without Ojama Trio first. Um, let me see. Legendary Black Belt. Hmm. But yeah, I don't think tokens count. I don't think, I don't think, yeah, tokens will count. For legendary black belt. So I'm gonna try this without Ojama Trio first. Okay. Alright, so there goes the koala. And now Legendary Black Belt should go off, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then you can attack again. Okay. And then Mataza can attack twice, right? Okay, okay, yes. Yeah, so the trap there is don't play Ojama Trio. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, that one was a little tricky. That one was a little tricky, but uh, we got it. Yeah, the major thing there is, uh, yeah, you got to get rid of all the cards in your hand because of Desquala. Okay. I think this will be the last one of the episode. Seal Feed. Okay. Skull Invitation. Okay. So... Hmm, interesting combo. What do you do when equipped? I forget. Um, special summon. While equipped, each time the equipped monster destroys, special summon one wicked plant token. Okay. Okay, and I have premature burial. Is that 4,000? Can it? Oh, okay. Um. Special summon does Nindle, right? Right, okay. So, let's go with Vampire Orcus. Yes. Uh, special summon that in attack mode for now. Let's revive Cannon Soldier. Okay. And then, that's the thing. I don't know if you're supposed to use the effect of Destinal or not. I'm just assuming you are. I don't know if it'll spawn the token, though. Hmm. That's the question. If it does spawn the token, that's definitely the key. But we'll just try this. We'll just try. Okay. Right. Skull Invitation. Oh, we do get the token. Okay. Okay. And then, yeah, Skull Invitation. Go, we get plenty of token. All right. Oh, man. What a weird-looking token. And then Cannon Soldier attacks directly. Okay. And then we just uh, Cowboy for game. All right. So just have to pick carefully here. Offer the token. Okay. 
and then we tribute uh, Vampire Orcus, and then we tribute uh, Cannon Soldier, and that's game. All right. So, I'm, apparently that's how that's ruled as far as Destinal goes. I didn't. I wasn't sure if we'd get the token or not there, but uh, all right. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll do time duels uh, 65 through 80. So, all right, that's the plan. So I'm gonna get out of here and save. And uh, yeah, pretty cool episode, pretty cool episode. We got to fight Zane a couple times, so. Alrighty guys, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys all next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Have a good day.